Hi guys, welcome to your August 2021. Okay, all right, stop falling. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Time is Reading Week 2 for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe. And what's good, fam bam? Hello to my members. Hello to my patrons. And hello to my coffee club members. This is going to be a short snip combined reading we will not be doing extensions or bonuses um for the next couple of weeks just due to the timing of everything so um we're gonna just go ahead and get started i hope that does not affect your ability to be able to watch the reading if it resonates great if it doesn't let it skate i have not said that in like three years okay Everything that you need is below in the description box. We're pulling right on the camera. We're going old school. Um, and let's go and see what we have. All right. All right, Libra. What aren't they telling Libra? So I'm on rising and Venus. Oh, okay. Well, first and foremost, they are completely stressed out with the Ten of Swords. Um, obviously, there's a lot of mental distress that your person, the person that loves you is um, experiencing right now, Libra Collective. Interestingly enough, 10 whole pinnacles. Um, what's interesting about this particular card too, guys, is there is a whole heart that is right in the middle of that. Um, and so that lets me know that a lot of this distress and anguish has a lot to do with their heart and how they are feeling. Um, and this also came out with the Knight of Cups. So they are extremely sensitive, extremely stressed out. They could be going into what they call a victim's mentality. Um, they're very sensitive, very romantic. So whatever is causing this mental anguish and this stress, they are really taking it very, very badly. Okay. I don't know why my face is shining. Hold on. All right, that may be, let me just toy with the lights for a second. I like that better. Ow. We gonna keep it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't I? Can you see? I feel bad. I can see. Can you see? I hope you can see, Libra. Just deal with me, okay? Roll with me. All right. In the heart place, we do have the death card. <sighs> Your person is undergoing... Um, changes and the changes that they're going through right now libra collective has a lot to do with a lot of things that are internal um right now i know that we're dealing with some scorpio energy we're definitely dealing with libra gemini and aquarius energy first card out obviously being that ten of swords your person is definitely um it, dealing with endings dealing with transitions you know um but also eliminating things um bringing something to a close it's definitely time to bring something that's in your energy to a close, okay? Um, and what else do we have? All right, so the Queen of Pentacles is the next card that's out. Interestingly enough, they look at you as the nurturer. Um, you are the one that held it down and held it very tight. Um, you are... <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. You are the individual that they look at Libra... Um, and it could be male or female. It does not matter. But you are the nurturer. You are the caregiver. They look at you as the stable one. They look at you. There's very nurturing and mothering qualities here. You have been the one that has kept them together. Um, and they do not want to lose you. They know that something is going to end and maybe they understand. Ooh, okay. The divine feminine and masculine with the king of pentacles here. So they are definitely looking at you as the couple. This is divine feminine and masculine energy right here. And this is exactly what they are. Um, they're, they are experiencing the feelings of feeling like they're losing the person that's for them. Feeling like that they're losing. Yeah, I see now. I see it. Um, that king of pentacles came out with that extra card. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of my king of pentacles because they came out together. So that was, if you need to see it again, the three of swords and they are heartbroken right now. There is a decision that they feel like, um, that they're heartbroken. They're lonely. They're stressed out about something. A lot of it has to do with things in their heart. Um, they want to accept or they're being guided to accept the things that is going on between you guys right now. They're not really understanding that endings are merely beginnings. They're having a very hard time putting the past behind you. Um, it's uh, This is a deepest fear. This is very much so 
Um, this here is them understanding that once they institute this death and let the chips fall, that this death is going to initiate great change. They know that the end of an era is here. They know that they can feel this door closing. It's sadness. It's a lot of sadness with this card. Interesting. I'm going to go more into that at the top of the deck. We do have the Page of Cups. They want to come through Libra Collective and they want to apologize to you. Um, they're trying to figure out how they're going to do that or even if it's worth it. Um, this is getting down to the basics. They know that in order for this to work, they have to tear this complete relationship out the frame and start over. And they're having a hard time. They know that the regular, I'm sorry, Libra, I screwed up. is not going to work. The, the bottom of the deck is the higher font. Um, there have been opportunities for them in the past for them to step into the higher them. There have been opportunities for them in the past. Let me wipe this off of my nail. Um, opportunities for them in the past to do what they needed to do. Um, and they refused to do the right thing. There have been plenty of opportunities for them. This is alcohol. Make sure that I have pureness on my desk. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. They've had a lot of opportunities in the past to go into their higher self. Um, they've chosen not to do that. They were being guided to kind of move into um, changing their beliefs or even having a, um, a belief system or, you know, making them commit, making them move into an energy that was higher than them um, for this relationship. This is very, very much so relationship driven. Um, and they refuse to do it. They do want to come through. They're very romantic at heart. They're very sensitive. Okay. Um, Page of Cups and Knight of Cups. Um, they really are romantic. They're maybe not saying what losing you or what this is doing to them. Um, it's really causing a lot of energy surrounding this Three of Swords. Um, Libra, this is an individual who is having to come to terms with the reason why this relationship is broken up is because of them. Um, they feel very lonely that you guys are separated. Um, I do I do feel a little bit of victim's mentality here. They feel a little betrayed. They really do feel like whatever it was that you were rushing them or that you didn't give them a chance. Let me let you know that's all um, excuses. Um, you don't have to give chances. We're adults. So keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> that's what this person felt like. Those were just excuses. Changing is uncomfortable for this individual. Um, they want to give you this commitment very much so, but they are so hurt right now. Um, they do have a combination of maybe we're looking at the energy that's on the board. First of all, we do have air. We do have, um, the energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We do have, obviously, a lot of water. The water is evident on the board in the Knight of Pentacles. The, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Death card. Um, and we have Earth energy represented here in, in higher fine energy. Um, the opposite of Scorpio and Taurus. Both are in this particular read, and this could definitely resonate with you. They look at you as their divine feminine and or masculine. You pick the side that you're on and they're just utterly heartbroken at whatever has went on between you. I'm looking at this right now. I'm taking it off the top. We do have regrets clarifying my 10 of swords. The Knight of Cups, obviously, is our differences. You guys are not on the same page. I feel like they wanted to love without resolution. That's what I feel like. They wanted to love without resolution. They wanted to just love. They didn't want to work on the things that was bugging them. I'm sorry, that was bugging you because they felt like if they just showered you with love, then you would shut up. Clarify death. Um, ah, they know that they have to propose. Now, isn't that interesting? So um, every reading has been about some sort of, well, for Capricorn and Taurus, the proposal, they got wedding bells, and then the other one got happy ever after. Now you're getting proposal, and we're just going in a row. The If you're interested in the order, it's below in the description box. That's interesting to me. They know that they have to ask you to marry them. They know that 
being with you without you is so uncomfortable and that they view you as their partner. Um, right now, oh wow, as the queen of pentacles, they're looking at you and they think that you have moved on with these many suitors. Um, they think that you would be a catch to any man or any female, any man. Yes. You take it as it resonates. Um, and they are really sitting here being a heartbroken king. Um, we got twin flames. Interesting. And we also got the card of yes, this yes. And this page of cups, I think that when this person comes back, um, because remember the the three of swords, not three of cups, um, was being clarified by yes. Um, you guys spoke about marriage. You you guys spoke about marriage. Top of the deck is karmic release, which is what needs to be done. Bottom of the deck is the mask is on. Yes. So they did not open up and let you know how they felt. Their mask was on the entire time. I am going to go in really quickly here because I want to know what is going on. First of all, there is a lot of marriage energy. Libra, collective, what is that about? Um, they have a lot of regrets. There was something that went on. Did you propose? <laughs> Did they? Okay. All right. Let's, 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 let's. What am I hearing here? They have regrets. That they were not on the same page as you, that they didn't listen to their first mind, and they allow other things to get in between actually asking you to marry them. Or some of you guys had a conversation about marriage. There was something here about marriage. They were not honest with you. Whatever this was, I don't want to get married, or maybe you proposed, if some of you guys proposed. They didn't mean what they said. They they have a lot of regret. This is really sad. Clarify. We're going to go over here really quickly. Let me check on a sign. All right, we're looking good. Libra, we're going to go with regrets. We have lessons of Uranus. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. So they were inconsistent and they were detached. Um, one minute they talked about being free and the next minute they talked about a commitment. So this is what they regret coming in and out and, and really going with this in and out energy and not being on the same page and what they fear and what they want. This car represent both their fears and their thoughts, thoughts, feelings, actions, and fears, actually. They feel like you are out there dating and somebody is going to swoop you up because of, and they're so afraid that they lost you. But at the same time, they want to tell you so much more than what they are telling you right now. Um, a new love or a new phase in love is beginning. So they really think that you've moved on. Um, yes. Lessons of Pluto. Um, there's a control aspect here. Patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull. Um, this is another thing. Um, they wanted to control when this went on. We do have destiny and divine time. Time. Yes. In the, in the past, that higher font, they wouldn't make a decision. I don't think you gave them an ultimatum. This card is stalemate. A stalemate situation. Somebody needs to take decisive action. They wouldn't do it. Um, they should have acted on this and they didn't. They really screwed this up. Um, and I don't think that they were. I don't think they thought. I kind of feel like I want to clarify that, but we'll go into that. Now, now it's yes. They, 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 this is a twin flame connection, by the way. And I'm telling you that, um, this person, they want to marry you, but now they feel like they've lost, they lost their chance. They would do it all over again. If they had a chance, they really don't feel like they have a chance. Clarify differences. Yeah. They feel let down. This is why I say 
when you get to that ten of uh, swords, you can victimize yourself a little bit. Um, clarify proposal. Um, I feel like, ooh, I am waiting patiently. So in their heart, remember they have death. Endings is a, is is about beginnings. They know that they need to change something. They know that by letting or allowing something to end, this ending is not just like a tower or an eight of cups. No, this ending will initiate the change that's needed for growth. This is death. With this ending comes a great amount of the change that's necessary, the change that should have taken place from the beginning. They're waiting patiently. They're going to ask you to marry them. They're going to come and shut this down. Many suitors is being clarified by I don't know what you want. Um, I think that this is a breakup. They do know that you it's a possibility that you're seeing other people or they think you are seeing other people. They don't like to compete. Clarify twin flames. Um, ah, this is a new one. I believe this. This makes sense. I have trouble with intimacy. I don't think and, and, and remember, intimacy is not sex. It's a part of it. That's one component. They do have trouble with intimacy. And I feel like they have trouble with letting you in. They not only have trouble with letting you in, truly and completely being vulnerable with you. Aha, 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 aha. They're heartbroken too. I do love you. They're changing. Wow. Let's clarify that hair font. They still feel the pain of losing you. That's interesting. Wow, Libra. Look at this. Ooh, I can't do this. I can't do this thing. This feels like dangerously in love. This feels like dangerously in love. I promise that just popped in my head. They can't do this. As soon as I saw this, I can't do this, this, this. What, what did she say? I can't. You hear it? Look, I'm going to link it down in the description. Some, like, did you ask them to marry you? Did you ask them to marry you? There is a marriage thing here. Let's go and get you out of here. Um, this is beautiful, but did you ask this person to marry you or this person asked you? There is a lot of marriage energy here, Libra. What in the hell is this about? I feel like I want to get my other deck. I just feel like they have a lot of regret. They looked at things differently. They feel like you were supposed to never leave them and you let them down. Oh, get more information. I wasn't even ready for that. Hold on. I'm, I've been sitting here shuffling and I think I'm just going to go in really quickly. I still have a few more things. What is up with this wedding stuff? It's like the answer is yes. What damn answer is yes? Did you ask a question, Libra? <laughs> <laughs> they can't do this thing. What is it? Can't do this. I, I can't. I, I don't know the line. It's escaping me right now. It's escaping me. Ugh. It's those tight cards. Tight, tight. I love it. I'm going to go in with this yes. Cause they didn't show you how they were feeling. They didn't follow their intuition. That's the high priestess. You know, there was something in the past that they were led to do. They didn't do it. They showed their mask. Clarify proposal. Ace of Wands. Did they turn you down to say that they didn't want to get married? And secretly they did. Clarify proposal. What were the differences? Uh-oh, I felt something fall. Please don't fall. What were the differences? What were their concerns? They have stress. They are stressed out about, they have, they're in their heads. Scared about commitment, this Ace of Pentacles. 
scared with the seven um, and the chariot, not knowing how to move on. Seven of Pentacles. Money is their concern. Some of you guys are connecting with Pisces. This is the this is the ruler of Cancer, but the major arcana for Pisces. Um, I really do believe that a lot of them honestly do have trouble with intimacy. This is all of the intimacy issues. Cover, look, this is your twin. Covering up their feelings. Wearing a false self mask. Secretly loving you and wanting you and not feeling vulnerable enough to tell you. Really breaking down their walls and automatically letting you in the way you're supposed to be. Not letting you know just how much you mean to them. They have trouble. I'm happy that came out. And they can't do this without you. They can't do this without you. So what I say is, is they're going to come in with this, with this message, that page of cups to apologize, to tell you how much that they actually do love you. And they're going to test you out first because they think that you are, you have many suitors. And why wouldn't you have many suitors? You're a catch. They know that they screwed up when they let you go. They let you walk away because they were too much of a chicken shit to be honest with you. And I'm telling you that it has a lot to do with these intimacy issues. It also feels like wherever they were, however they grew up, they had to grow up a certain way. Feelings were not something that they um, were, um, was easy for them to express. Um, and they have a lot of regrets because out of all of the women or men, because this can go either way. They actually let you walk away and you actually did love them. You did. Um, and you probably still do. This is your twin. So this definitely isn't over. Show me, spirit. What do we have? You are being guided to remain positive. This isn't over. This isn't over. And it's beautiful because they want to marry you. They want to marry you, Libra. They're coming. Let go. And that's not what you think. That's the negativity. That's the negativity. Show me, spirit. And then ask your angels. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Yes. Ask help from others. Well, you can definitely ask me. If you resonate with this and you want to... That's nice how I picked that up. And you want to know... Whether this matches your situation, then by all means, you can go ahead and book. Um, but they do love you. I showed you that. I showed you their trouble with intimacy. I do want to show you this wedding ener um, energy, though. So they're going to propose. Um, that's what this is. They're going to propose. And some of them don't know whether you're going to actually say yes. Are you going to say yes? Okay. They're worried about that. Wow, they would do it all again. They would love you a hundred times. And and they would love you a hundred times and lose you a hundred times if it just means loving you. Wow, this is beautiful, Libra. Wow. I kind of feel sorry for this individual, but they just don't feel comfortable with being vulnerable. Um, remember, you are their divine. And where is my twin? You guys... This is what we got going on here. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that it resonated with you. I am going to be posting up the vote for this week's video. Please go ahead and do your votes. I was very unhappy to see that you came in as third. What's going on, Libra? <laughs> like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribes. I will see you in a few days, lovely, to give you your week three. Thank you for your patience. Bye, Libra.